Hey everyone, it's Ryan with The Smart House again. And today we're gonna to start a new segment that I call Three Minute Thursdays, sort of a play on uh, Peter McKinnon's Two Minute Tuesdays. Um, but I'm actually gonna to try to accomplish my goal of keeping the main segment of this video within three minutes. So not the whole video, just the, uh, just the main section we're gonna talk about. So before we get into the actual video, um, I just wanna remind you that uh, one of the requirements for this video you would have had to watch my previous video on setting up the WISE integration in Home Assistant, which you can find a link for right here in the card. That is what I'm using to pull in the motion and the power controls for the WISE cameras. So the next question is, can I figure out how to do a countdown timer in Premiere? Did that work? All right, so let's get started. So in my house, I have lights that are in the front of my house along my garage. And right now those are triggered just by motion of my ring camera. When it detects motion, it automatically turns those lights on. Well, now we're gonna also um, create an automation to do that for my driveway camera as well. So we head over to Home Assistant. Uh, let's go to, I'm gonna get the driveway camera here pulled up here. You can see all the different motion events in here. Grab its name, and then we'll go to configuration, configuration, automations, go and create a new automation, call this one drive. Driveway. driveway motion. So the trigger type will be device. That device is just called driveway cam. And the event trigger is started detecting motion. For conditions, we just want simply the sun to be after sunset, before sunrise. And then the action, we want to just call, you can either call service or device. In this case, I'll just do device front lights. Turn on front lights and then to 100 and then add action delay three minutes and then front lights turn off all right so when the when the driveway camera detects motion between sunset and sunrise it'll turn on the front lights wait three minutes turn them right off again so now you've got a quick and easy motion detection script that you can use anywhere in your house that has a wise camera so the second thing we're going to do is real quickly look at the automation that i had created in the example in my intro of the wise gear video uh, where i had shown a camera privacy setting that's just simply a blank script so we go to scripts add script so in this case it's just a script that calls service switch turn off and the entity is entry cam. And then we just duplicate this over and over again and change it to whatever entities you want. Now all you have to do is call this script in your Google Home routine, or in their case, it calls it a scene. And if you want to see an example of this, check my last video on Roborock vacuum zone cleaning. There's a section where I show you how to do that. So you just create a routine that calls this particular script, and then you'll you can basically power off all your camera, your wise cameras all at once from within your Google Assistant. All right, so do we make it? Yep, looks like we made it just in time. So I know that was kind of a cop out because I only talked about the center section being uh, under three minutes. Hoping to have more of these little short form videos. Now this actually came directly from a comment on my WISE integration video. And so I thought I'd just spin it into a quick video to show you how to do what I did in that introduction. So there you go. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Feel free to join my Discord server. Um, if you have any extended questions on the WISE integration or any other home automation topic or question. And as always, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.